Well, we're here at Sound Designs in Toronto, and I'm here with Ben from Savant, who is not from Toronto, but he's here to tell us about this new product that he's got to show. So, Ben, you've got uh, some home automation goodies that you've just brought out. And tell yes. me a little bit about that. Well, what we have is a full home automation uh, control platform called Rosie from Savant. Uh, what we're showing here, we're showing a number of different vignettes here in the store, uh, showing different types of control, different types of interfaces for control that end users can use in their homes to control all of their home automation, uh, whether it's audio and video equipment, whether it's lighting, whether it's security, uh, home heating and HVAC systems. Uh, so we can pretty much give you uh, full control of all the technology in the home. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of areas around here, and we've got this all wired up basically into your system. Yes. All right, so now I noticed when we came in the front door, we had a little touch panel. And tell us a little bit about that. What's, what's that called, and how does it work? Yes, this is a, a new technology for us. It's called True Image with Gesture Touch. And what we do is we take a, uh, a touch panel of various sizes. We offer those from 7-inch up to 24-inch. Uh, and basically, by using capacitance uh, similar to what you would run into with an iPhone or an iPod Touch, uh, we can basically scroll from room to room in the house. And we take a picture of the room. And by taking a picture of the room with the lighting on and lighting off, rather than having buttons to control lights and so forth, you would just simply touch the lights in the photograph of the room itself to be able to turn those on, turn them off, dim them. Yes. Uh, those kinds of things. So Definitely. it's a very intuitive way to have people be able to control the room. What what easier way is there than a picture of the room yeah, itself? Much more natural than pressing a bunch of uh, right. buttons. So you right. have other ways of inter interacting with the system as well besides this touch panel, which is cool, but you can also do it while sitting in bed with remote control. Correct. Yeah, we have uh, what's called on-screen display. Uh, this is a very interesting user interface in that it uses uh, a traditional remote control, handheld remote control like what uh, a lot of people are familiar with, or it could use an iPhone or an iPod Touch to control an on-screen display that could put a control interface over the top of any existing uh, image on any television set. So it's a very simple to use, easy to use interface. Uh, that can be used to control any of the systems in the house. Again, at Savant, we're very focused on the user interface and the user experience and making it easy for users uh, who may not be familiar with a house to be able to come in and control any of the technology in the house. I understand one of the reasons it's so easy for people to use is that you've actually built this on top of another company's technology. Yes, it is an Apple-based. It is a true Apple-based uh, control system. Uh, so it is the only Apple-based control system on the market today, and we take full advantage of all the tools that Apple has to offer to, uh, to try and give you all these very cool user interfaces and very cool access to technology. And they don't just let anybody monkey with their hardware. So obviously I, you've got uh, permission yes, to do this. Uh, yes. And you've also uh, partnered up with them, I guess, in another way. You've got the application on the iPhone and the iPod That's Touch. That's correct, service. yes. We have a full-featured uh, application that runs on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Uh, it gives you, again, access to all of the technology in the house, whatever systems you want to control, whether that's uh, AV equipment or lighting or shades or HVAC. It also gives you control over all the media. We have an integrated iTunes server built into the platform that can have up to eight simultaneous streams of iTunes playing to different zones in the house. And through the iPhone or the iPod Touch, uh, we basically can give you uh, a view into that media, be able to control that media, give you full two-way feedback to the media so that you can see what's playing, be able to control volumes, uh, album artwork, search your libraries, be able to uh, uh, use all the media in the house, which is really nice for not only the main user in the house, but if someone comes to visit, you can plug it into the end wall or the desktop iPod dock, and that media becomes available to the house as long as the the iPod is, is plugged into the dock itself. So There you go. Now, how much is it going to cost me to set up my whole house like this? All, all 6,000 rooms in my mansion. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty scalable system. Uh, we start out with a, a whole house control system with eight zones of audio at about $6,400 Canadian. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can scale that up to very, very large systems that can control up to 36 zones of 1080p video and 144 zones of stereo audio. So mm -hmm. it can get quite elaborate. Okay, I think I'll just start with the app. How much is the iPhone app going to cost? The application is uh, available on the App Store for forty nine ninety five. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, yep, uh, we just released version four of that application, and it is uh, up on the Apple I app, app Store right now for forty nine ninety five. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, Ben. I think thank I'm going to go turn some lights on and off. Okay, thanks a lot.